Welcome to this salvage claim video. If you're familiar with this channel, which someone pointed out to me not long ago, contains over 700 videos now, closing in on 800, then you know that from time to time I do salvages of word particles or words themselves. Uh, just as an example, I did salvage claim of the digraph AE. I did salvage claim of the word O-E-T-I, oiti. I did salvage claim of the word contract. And today, I'm going to do a salvage claim on the word particle P-E-R, per. It's a very important particle. Uh, it's been used in such words as permission, uh, performance, you know, a lot of a lot of very important words and it's been brought to my attention and of course I am aware of this I was aware of this four or so years ago but it's been brought to my attention that when you do the parse of PER and you look it up in an etymology dictionary and you don't look at it with thoroughness you will come up against some questionable things and this is usually pointed out by people who are with a rudimentary closure on the grammar. Uh, they haven't really gotten too far. Um, there may be 10 to 15, 20 percent there. And it comes from them. And so, therefore, I'm making this video to just get it all out of the way, make the salvage claim, and make this, create this positive performance condition of state for the word particle PER wherever you may see it. Now, I did have some screenshots with highlighted text on it and stuff all ready to go, but my uh, computer decided to restart on itself, and all of those files are still uploading, so I'm just going to wing it here and just use an etymology dictionary, use Google and things like that, and then, in the end, show you my closure, my correct sentence structure, communication parsing, syntax, grammar, closure of the word particle PER and give you a few examples of that from my co-dictionary. So we can just start off with uh, punching it into Google and looking it up, which by the way is a very, it, it requires very little effort on the user's part to do this. And it's always curious to me that people will ask me questions or have difficulties, but they don't think to type their query into this Google engine or any other engine for that matter or even YouTube. I mean you can search things on YouTube and you can find out or figure out how to do virtually anything. So it's at your fingertips friends and neighbors. Um, it's at your fingertips. So here we go from Oxford Languages PER their first meaning is for each, and then the archaic meaning is by means of. In archaic, I can take to mean old. So that's usually what I go for when I'm looking for nativity root meanings. I go for the most archaic meaning I can find. So by means of. So now let's look at it as a prefix. Now we see as a prefix, it can mean through thoroughly, utterly, and very, which is, in a general sense, the way that I use it when I use it in correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar. Now let's get into the etymology of it. Let's get into the parse of it. Interesting thing here, folks. You saw me type in PER in all caps. And look what they did. They modified it to lowercase. Isn't that interesting? Anyways, so let's take a cursory glance at what Etymology Online tells us. PER through by means of 1580s, earlier in various Latin and French phrases, in the latter often par, from Latin PER through, during, by means of, on account of, as in, Proto-Indo-European root, P-E-R, forward, hence, through, in front of, before, first, chief, toward, near, around, against. 
So this is where people start having questions in their head because they see words like against, around, near, toward, before, not so much in front of, but these are fiction terms trying to credential a fiction word. You have to keep that in mind. So you see those things there. And then we go down to this one, which means to strike forward through. And then we see some examples of this. And then another one, PER, an extended sense from root PER, forward through, same thing. Uh, without recompense, gratuitously, prostitute, porn, prostitute. Well, that's interesting that the word porn comes from Greek and it means to prostitute. Um, this doesn't have to do so much with what we're talking about, but it's good to look at all of the knowledge available. So we have PER1, which Proto-Indo-European root forming prepositions, etc., meaning forward. In front of, before, first, chief, same thing we just saw up above there. Uh, hypothetical source evidence for existence provided by Sanskrit. Pari, around, about, through. Farther remote, ulterior, formerly, before, forward, forth, around, outside of. So you definitely see some usages of that would uh, in any other case usually negate that particle okay so now we're going still number three uh, forward same thing to try risk proto-indo-european to lead pass over PER Throughout, thoroughly, entirely, utterly. Okay. This is another uh, description of the way I use it. Plain English translation of the way I would use this particle. And the way I do use it, actually, in a positive performance setting. So here is another thing that people come across where they will see this. And then they'll come down here and see that PRE comes from PER okay PRE is used in future tense which means it negates the now space and it's used in the sense of forward beyond in front of before all those things that you saw I show you I showed you earlier from the PER element that's what PRE means and PRO in the sense that I and th that is strictly the way that's used and you can see it in the fiction the way that they describe it but the way I use PER is not the case so the reason why I'm doing this salvage is to number one show you illustrate to you how you can do this for yourself if there's a certain particle or or something that you feel is important enough to salvage to use in your contracts with other men and women um, and number two to show you how you can claim it in your own dictionary so as I said at the beginning this is how in a sense I use it to mean First, chief, thoroughly, utterly, completely. And I'm going to show you that in my correct sentence structure meaning right now. So you can see in this first finite mean, this is my finite mean of the particle PER. For the PER of this finite mean is with the word particle of the oiti and of the function with the conveyance of a matter with the thoroughness, completeness, and with the closure by this claim. Backwards, of course, for this claim of the closure completeness and of the thoroughness is with a matter of the conveyance 
with the function and with the oite of the word particle with this finite mean by the per. And by the way, oite, which is one I did do a salvage on years ago, I used that instead of using the word use or usury because a vowel in front of a consonant at the beginning of a word means no. And it's a very obvious particle of negation. So instead I use oite, which can be found in the Parsean etymology of the word use. You can find O-E-T-I if you look it up in etymology online. So this is my finite mean and my closure of the particle P-E-R. It is positive performance. You're more than welcome to use it. This is an open source salvage. I don't want any compensation or money from you if you want to use it. If you want to use words like performance, perception, permission, you don't have to ask my permission. <laughs> um, and I doubt the fiction is going to recompense me anything for towing this as a salvage. So again, this is um, July 29th, 2023. If anyone has anything to say about this or has any challenge uh, with my towing this as a salvage, you must contact me at jasonmatthewg17 at gmail.com within a year and a day from this date that I just gave you. Uh, but keep in mind, if you're going to do that, if you're with the volition of doing that, number one, you have to have closure on correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar, and I mean 100% closure. Because if you don't, if you write to me and you're using adverb, verb, adjective, pronoun, babble, or if you're using quantum gobbledygook, I'm going to rip it apart and send it back to you. Because only someone who can position themselves on the geometric level playing field of correct sentence structure contract can actually challenge this salvage claim. I doubt anyone will anyways. So here are some examples of how I would use this PER and how I do use it from my code dictionary. Perception of this finite mean is with the cognition and grasp of the sensation and knowledge with the contract matter by this claim, for this claim of the contract matter is with the sensation and knowledge of the cognition and grasp, with this finite mean by the perception. Uh, for the performance of this finite mean is with this claim of the contract, with the continuity of the contract terms, with the manifestations of the volition, with the frequency field of the contract parameters, with the certification by the contract vessels. Backwards, for the contract vessels of the certification are with the contract parameters of the frequency field with the volition of the manifestation with the contract terms of the continuity with the contract of this claim with the finite mean by the performance and lastly per for the permission of this finite mean is with the claim of this contract with the conveyance of the authority with the performance of a task with the broadcast of the authorization with the author by this claim for this claim of the author is with the authorization of the broadcast, with the task of the performance, with the authority of the conveyance, with this contract of the claim, with the finite mean by the permission. Now, folks, I just gave you permission and consent to use per as a particle in your words, if you so choose. Uh, my finite mean of per, more than welcome to it. As far as perception, performance, and permission, I strongly, strongly advise you against plagiarizing, copying and pasting what I have here into your own documents. I strongly recommend that you come up with your own finite means, with your own study, your own research. Put your own work in rather than copying someone else's. Now, I can't stop you from doing that, but I will tell you this. There is a such thing as karma. And if you do that, if you plagiarize this, if you copy and paste this and use this in your own documents, it may not turn out the way, quite the way that you want to. And you will probably get taught a lesson from the cosmos. 
Um, that's my guess. I have had people, uh, the way I format my emails, I have had people literally copy and paste the footers and things like that of my emails and then just take my name out and put their name in. Completely and utterly plagiarizing what I do. Um, it's myself, I would never even consider doing something like that anyways even with plain simple you know adverb verb adjective pronoun English but again as I said I can't stop anybody from doing that but I can definitely warn you that uh, karma is a fact and definitely what goes around comes around so that about does it for my salvage of the word particle PER um, and I'll, I'll just put a little end note on it to uh, cross the I's and dot the T's, so to speak, and say that I have a code dictionary with over a thousand terms, correct sentence structure terms in it. Point being, they are, the, the dictionary is what governs my correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax, grammar, construct. And if you want a contract with me using correct sentence structure, then you would um, have to agree with the terms. And one of those terms, one of the particles of the terms is PER. You would have to agree with the word performance. If you have a problem with that, if from what I've just shown you, you feel that um, you don't want to use P-E-R in your words because of your study and whatever your closure is. I don't know what that is or isn't. This is a, a hypothetical situation. If you don't want a contract with me using those words with P-E-R in it, then we're just not going to contract. Um, we're, we're not going to agree to anything. I'm going to go on my merry way. You're going to go on your merry way. But just like those words up there like pronoun, adverb, adjective, those have particles of negation in them. I'm not going to salvage those because those are, you know, pronouns are no, no, no. Adjectives or adjective is a no throwing contract. An adverb is a no verb. I'm not going to try and come up with a word, a positive performance word to replace those simply because they're not positive performance. They are expressions of the condition of state of modification. Uh, so why would I do that? And plus everyone is familiar with those words anyways. So you got to think about your audience. You got to, you know, weigh exactly how much energy you want to invest in this, that, or the third. And so it's my volition because I've been using PER for so long it's not my volition to create something totally new and suddenly have people have to participate with that or not why would I do that like the last huge salvage I did was I think contract which makes sense to me because there is a very obvious particle of negation there in contra. C-O-N-T-R-A. So I simply did a salvage on it and just spell it C-O-N hyphen T-R-A-C-T. Easy fix. You still see the word contract. We're still using the word contract. It's just got a hyphen in it so that it eliminates that particle of negation contra. Another one would be oite, O-E-I, instead of use. Vow in front of a consonant as a fact, I'm not going to do it. Unless it's something like adverb or adjective that's already been established, but it's a negative condition of state. And I sick it. Why would I use, use a word like use when I can go back in an etymology dictionary and pull that original nativity root form of the word O-E-T-I and just use that. And for ease of communication, for those who don't know what it means, usually I will put O-E-T-I and then put U-S-E in brackets right after it. 
so that you know what it is that I mean. So these are all techniques you can use. I've been using them for years. Uh, but it's always good to be considerate of everyone and think about these things thoroughly before you go around pointing fingers and say, you know, oh, you can't use performance because there's a particle of negation in there, PER. Well, guess what? I just performed a salvage claim on it. I'm towing it as a salvage for the safety of all the vessels. So anyone out there can use this particle in their contracts, continue to safely use them uh, continuously so as the uh, the demigod Maui says in the movie Moana, you're welcome. <laughs> Again, if you have any, uh, if anyone out there who has closure on quantum grammar wishes to challenge this salvage, you must contact me at jasonmatthewg17 at gmail.com before the end of the drogue of a year and a day from this date, July 29th. 2023 at high noon if you want to learn this grammar again closing in on 800 videos you can study those videos or if you'd like to learn correct sentence structure communication parse syntax grammar contact me at the email address listed at the bottom of your screen I will set up a 10 to 15 minute video consultation between you and me you can ask me whatever you like and I'll do the same, and we'll see if this is something that uh, you're prepared to commit to. If you'd like to support the channel, click on the Join button underneath this video. There are two tiers of membership. Uh, the second tier has access to exclusive content not available to the public. Once again, thank you for watching. Uh, hit the Subscribe button. Hit the Like button. Turn the notification bell to all so that you don't miss any of my premieres because I do post on a very consistent basis. There are over 500 correct sentence structure videos for here you to study on this channel. My gift to you, my fellow mankind. Thank you again, and I'll see you in the next one.